Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add exams to the screen. Um, and I'm going to show you three different ways in which you could potentially do that. Okay, so uh, if I just if I just navigate to my screen now, um, you'll see that you've got this message, which is the message that appears when basically you don't have um, any exams programmed in that will appear in the drop down menu. So for now, I'm just going to close. That. I'm just going to show you what I mean. So there are no exams in there at, at the minute. Um, so I'm going to, as I said, show you three ways in which you can um, get exams into the system so that they can be displayed um, on your screen. So the first method I'm going to show you uh, is uh, the our newest one, which is the external exam catalog. So you'll see up here on this menu now, there's uh, an extra link here um, called external, external exams. Uh, and I've actually um, changed this one that used to say exam catalog and now it says my exams just to distinguish it um, from the external exam. So if I click on that, um, then what you'll see when you come onto this tab is um, a list of exam boards, uh, which you can then open out. You'll be familiar with this sort of structure from uh, the base data that you'll have used in your MIS um, systems. Um, so if I just demonstrate this to you, you, open out the exam board, then you get the levels. And then when you open out the levels, you get the actual qualifications themselves. So uh, this is GCSE AQA. As you can see, our school does a lot of different um, qualifications, uh, uh, GCSE qualifications with AQA. Um, and basically your job here is just to go through and tick off um, all the qualifications that your school um, uses from the different exam boards that you use. Now, what will happen is that um, all the summer exams will get loaded into the system um, by me. And then if you've ticked off the correct qualifications, then on the days that you have exams within those qualifications, they will appear in your, on your drop down menu on the screen. Um, so I'm just going to show you, give you a demo of how this works. So I've actually, for the purposes of um, of showing this, I have uh, uploaded into the system all the exams for the 20th of June, 2023. Um, so um, I'm just going to tick a couple of extra qualifications, which are going to help me uh, demonstrate this. So on that day, there happens to be an A-level maths uh, exam, uh, and there also happens to be um, a GCSE food exam as well. We do those uh, with... Um, OCR for the food and Edexcel for the maths. So I'm just going to save those settings. So we're sort of imagining here that it is the 20th of June um, and I've got all my exam board, boards and qualifications um, sorted there. So when I click on this now, you'll see that those two exams appear uh, in my drop down menu um, and then I can add them to my screen as uh, as I'd like to. So that's basically it. It's very, it's very straightforward, um, this, but it has um, the advantage of being very um, refined in the sense that you are only going to get um, the exams uh, that you need into your drop down menu because you're you're um, only specifying the qualifications that your school does. Um, so you won't have great long lists of exams to choose from in your drop down. It should just be um, the ones that apply to you. Okay, I'm going to show you the second method now for uploading exams. And this is the one whereby you um, upload your own exams uh, into the system. Uh, so for this, you need to go to the My Exams tab. Um, uh, so here you can start to add exams uh, manually. So um, I'm just going to put one in here that I'm going to call Year 8 Reading Test. I'm going to make that one hour and I'm going to give it today's date. Um, so, uh, and I'll just save it. So, um, this is kind of going to be like an internal exam. So, this is obviously very different from the um, from the external exams. So, let's imagine it's the 20th of June still. Um, and um, you've got your public exams going on in one part of the school. And in another part of the school, you've got an invigilator uh, who's off running um, a... Uh, this reading test for some year eights. Um, so now if uh, that invigilator goes into exam screen, they will see in their drop down menu that the reading test is also there as well. So they can select that reading test uh, and then um, they've got that up on the screen. So uh, it is very simple to add exams 
um, your own exams like that. So obviously this is a function that you would want to use for mock exams. So you could add all your mock exams into here. Um, it's, it's also good because once you've added them, you don't necessarily have to keep removing them and re-adding them. You may just need to change the date. Uh, you know, so if it's a year 11 maths exam uh, that you did in, I don't know, December, and it's an hour and a half long, and then you're doing another one in March that's the same length, uh, and you're calling it the same name, then you may just need to change the date. You may not actually need to keep adding um, exams. Um, general rule about the dates is that if the date is showing, the exam will only sh appear on the screen on that date. If you leave the date column blank, it will appear in the drop down all the time. So you just need to be uh, mindful of that. And on the whole, I would say it's best to always specify um, a date for each um, exam. Uh, if you want to bulk add exams, uh, you can do that using the import exams um, function. So the way that you would do that is you download the sample file um, and you add your exams to the sample file and then you can upload it. So um, I've got one that I uh, prepared earlier. Um, let me just show you that. So there we go. So I've prepared one that's got a maths exam and an English exam, um, one that is for today's date, one that is for tomorrow's date. Um, so I'm just going to upload that file now to show you how that works. There it is. Okay, so it says successfully imported. So now when, when I go back, you'll see that those exams have now been added. So one of them has today's date. So hopefully when we go back to the screen, we'll see that that exam is also showing in the drop dropdown. Um, this one obviously has tomorrow's date, so that one shouldn't be showing. Uh, so let's just have a look. And there you go. Yeah, the mass is, the mass is showing, but the English isn't. So um, obviously you'd want to use this for your mock exams. Some of you may decide that you don't want to use the external exams catalog, that you'd prefer to have all your exams under this tab here. So you could put your public exams in here as well. Gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of how you title the exams, because obviously from the external exam catalog, I'm the one who's titling um, all the exams for that. Uh, I'm obviously, everything's JCQ compliant, uh, but you know, everyone has their own way that they like to do things. So if you want to exert a bit more control, you could add your public exams um, through here. So there is one more method for adding exams to the screen, and it's a method that people who have used exam screen uh, right from the start will be very familiar with. Uh, it's the most uh, kind of old school method of doing it. Um, so you'll see, obviously, we've still got these exams that we've um, added from the background uh, in the drop down, but there you can just, if you like, just type um, into the box what you want to add and do it like that. And it really is very simple and you save that and it's up on the screen. Um, this is um, a feature that uh, I will always keep in exam screen because it's it's kind of like a fail safe really. So if you've, you know, if, if any errors have been made, I mean, I'm sure they won't be because it's a very, very simple system to use. But if in your external exams or my exam catalog, um, you, you know, anything's gone wrong, you haven't quite got it right, um, then it doesn't spell disaster for you because there's always the option um, of just adding um, an exam by typing it onto, onto the screen. Um, so um, you've always got that to fall back on. And I think it's really important that there is always that kind of very simple um, option in place. Obviously, you know, one of the main aims with exam screens is to make this whole setup process quicker. So, um, so that your invigilators can spend more time focusing on other things. Um, and um, obviously, if they're having to type out lots and lots of information, that doesn't really achieve that goal. Um, but uh, on the other hand, it does mean that you always have a fallback option in case, you know, anything's gone, um, gone awry uh, with uh, the other methods that you've, you've used. Um, so I wouldn't have this as your primary method, but always be aware that um, it exists uh, if you need it.